To understand impedance or AC resistance, it would be a good idea to review electron flow and magnetic fields and how a magnetic field induces a current in a wire. Now here's the setup. You can see I've got two wires here and when I add a battery we get electrons flowing from the negative side of the battery through the wire to the positive side and of course simultaneously a magnetic field is being produced and when that magnetic field cuts across our wire at the top there in that small circuit we can see that it induces a current but notice the direction of the current it's in the opposite direction now the magnetic field has reached its maximum and has stopped moving notice that there is no current in the wire at the top that's because to induce a current with a magnetic field in a wire either the magnetic field has got to be moving or the wire has got to be moving through a magnetic field now if we were to switch out the battery take one of those out we have a little less current and the magnetic field starts to collapse and we do have a current in the wire at the top but notice its direction and when the magnetic field is no longer cutting across the wire we again no longer have a current in the upper wire now I have reversed the battery and notice electrons are still flowing from negative to positive but of course they're moving in the opposite direction in the wire just like before simultaneously there is a magnetic field being built but notice the colors different because this magnetic field is opposite from the first one and as it cuts across the wire at the top it induces a current in the wire but notice the direction of the current now the magnetic field has stopped and just like before even though this is this is the opposite magnetic field since the magnetic field is not moving there is no current in the top wire Now I have taken out one of the batteries and the magnetic field starts to collapse. The magnetic field is now moving in the other direction. Notice the current flow in the upper wire. Here is a coil of wire and this is just one wire but as you can see it's been wound around and let's see what happens when we put an AC source onto this now AC it's going to alternate from positive to negative and our magnetic field is always going to be in motion so here's the start of it and you can see that we've got current flowing and the direction of the current but look at that magnetic field it is cutting across several coils but it's the same wire and of course we're going that's going to be everywhere on the wire of course and what that does is the expanding magnetic field is going to produce a current and look at the direction 
it is in the opposite direction. So that magnetic field cutting all those coils, and it's the same wire, it is actually producing a current in the other direction, resisting the flow of the current from our AC source. Now the AC source is a little less and look what happens here when the magnetic fields try to collapse it induces a current in the same direction as the source but what that does is it's actually now resisting the collapse of the magnetic field. When the AC source gets to the other half of the cycle, the magnetic fields induce a current. And notice that when the magnetic field's expanding, the induced current is in the opposite direction from the source. And again, when the AC is diminishing, the magnetic field is trying to collapse which induces a current in the other direction, which again resists the collapse of the magnetic field. This is back EMF, back electromotive force. I have this set up on the workbench. I've got an AC frequency generator a coil and the oscilloscope and all three are in parallel and when we first take a look at the trace on the scope you'll see an AC signal and that effect that we just talked about is being produced in that coil when I add a metal core to that coil, this will increase the effect of the magnetic fields being produced. And you will see the signal increase, which means that the impedance of that coil is higher, or the AC resistance of that coil is higher. And then when I remove the core, it goes back to what it was. So adding an iron core increases the impedance or the AC resistance of a coil. Impedance or AC resistance in a coil is produced when the magnetic field induces a current in the opposite direction which resists current flow from the source or when the magnetic field induces a current with the current from the source which impedes or resists the collapse of the magnetic field. Thanks for watching.